make some power. What's going on you guys, Riley here. Today we are heading down to MS Tuning to slap the 2018 Mustang on the dyno and see how much power it makes. So we got myself, of course, and we got Sean behind the camera right there. And um, we're just generally curious, you know, how much power does the 2018 Mustang make with a JLT cold air intake, Corsa long tube headers, of course a cat back exhaust, Catless and a Lund Racing Flex Tune as well as a Lund Racing E85 R Tune. So my plan is to slap the crown of the dyno, do uh, like one or two pulls with the Flex Tune and then switch over to their E85 Race Tune and then see what the power difference is. So I was you know, curious, is it like a five horsepower difference? Is it a 10, is it a 15? I don't know. So we're gonna find out today and I think that should be pretty fun. And afterwards, we'll probably go hang out with the boys and do something maybe with Zach's CTSV because he put headers on his car last night. So I haven't ridden in it yet, so might as well bring you guys along. So a big deciding factor in me buying a 2018 Mustang, obviously a long time ago, was I was uh, on YouTube one night and I found this video by American Muscle and it was called hitting 500 rear wheel horsepower in our 2018 Mustang naturally aspirated. So they basically did a JLT cold air intake, a course a long tube header setup, and I believe they were tuned by VMP. And I believe they made like 508 wheel horsepower. And obviously they were on E85 as well. But when I watched that video and I sat there and I was like, wait, so you're telling me you can do basic bolt-ons to a Mustang and make over 500 wheel horsepower? That's insane. So that was something that really opened my eyes to you know the potential that these cars have and you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to change out the injectors. You don't have to do a fuel system, like nothing. You literally just you know, slap an intake, some headers and a tune and that's it. Realistically, anything above 480 wheel horsepower that this car puts down today, I'll be very happy with. Obviously, we'd all love to see a number in the 500s, because that'd be so cool, but will it happen? I don't know, but uh, if I, you want my early guess, I'm gonna say 480. We'll talk later a little bit more about the dyno and like why I think this dyno is more accurate than a lot of others. Obviously, a dyno is just a measurement tool. It's not exactly the best way to tell like, oh, your car's gonna run this in the quarter mile, but uh, it's, it's a good tool for measurement and uh, Dino we're going to is, is generally pretty accurate, but uh, in the meantime, Sean and I have about an hour drive down to where the dyno is. <laughs> and then we're told. <laughs> so we're gonna begin our hour drive, and I will leave you guys with this quick message from today's video sponsor and longtime channel supporter, Dollar Shave Club. From showering to brushing your teeth, we all have our everyday grooming routines. No matter what your routine, Dollar Shave Club has what it takes to have you looking, feeling, and smelling your best. Shower products, oral care products, hair products, skin products, butt wipes, and of course, shaving products. Basically, if you've got a body, then they've got you covered. So right now, Dollar Shave Club is offering their shave, shower, and oral care starter sets for just five bucks each. These are products that I have been using for about a year now, Dollar Shave Club's been a long time partner of the channel and I can't say enough good things about their products. My personal favorite is their shave butter because it goes on clear so when you're shaving you can actually tell what you are shaving. There's no guessing and hoping that you don't cut anything you don't want to cut. But in the shave starter set you get everything for shaving, obviously the shave butter, the razor cartridges, and the razor. The shower starter set includes their face cleanser, their body cleanser, and their hair and scalp shampoo. And as I'm sure you can guess their oral starter set includes some toothpaste which is peppermint kick and of course a toothbrush. So the best thing about Dollar Shave Club is that they automatically keep you stocked up on all of your favorite products. They will ship everything right to your door basically whenever you choose. So that takes all the hassle of going to the grocery store because you're out of toothpaste or you're out of shaving stuff. I mean it's just so convenient, so easy. Like I said I've been doing it for almost a year now and I really really enjoy using their services. Also the best part is the more you buy the more you save. They call that their handsome discount. Join the club today with one of their starter sets for just five bucks and after that they ship regular sized products at regular sized prices right to your door. This exclusive offer is found at dollarshaveclub.com slash rp. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash rp. Like I said guys, I wouldn't be promoting their products if they weren't good. I've been using them for a super long time. They're great people to work with so if you want to help support the channel and support a company that supports the channel then go check out their stuff. It's actually really good. First link will be down below in the description. Sweet, thanks. Thank you. All right, I lied. We made a pit stop at Chick-fil-A, but you probably already expected that. Of course. What's new? <laughs> All right.
right, well we are here, MS Tuning, Matt Sorian, the man, the myth, the legend. He is uh, one of the best tuners in the entire country, especially when it comes to LS stuff. He's the same tuner that tuned my Corvette. And uh, I mean, the guy's an absolute genius when it comes to tuning. So today we're gonna be using his dyno. Um, like I said, his dyno seems to be very accurate. So when my Corvette was bone stock, uh, it put down 376 wheel horsepower on the same dyno. And if you factor in a 15% drivetrain, that puts it to right at like 430 something, which is what that car is rated from the factory bone stock. So that tells me that this dyno is pretty much dead on accurate. And uh, when the car, my Corvette made 480 wheel horsepower, that is what everybody on the internet said it should make. They're like, yeah, with the cam and you know your mods, it should make a 480. And it made exactly 480. So this isn't one of those dynos that you dyno and it's like 100 horsepower high or low. This should be uh, pretty accurate. So that's, uh, that's what we're going with. So Matt was saying that he did a, a baseline dyno on one of these a couple weeks ago and it made about 420 wheel horsepower at this uh, the same dyno. So. Uh, he's about to make, I guess, a practice pull and then go from there. We're going to do the uh, the flex tune first and then go for the E85R tune. horsepower 474 pound-feet of torque holy crap that's insane that's on the uh, the flex fuel tune as well damn okay okay so like I said that was on the flex fuel tune and this car does have an e 84.7 in it right now so that's about as close to e85 as you're gonna get um, so that was done let me get it to focus so that pull was done on this tune right here which is flex off-road now we're gonna move over to e85 R as you can see right there, going to hit the check mark, flash this tune, loading tune, and so now we will load the E85R tune, which I have never used before. So um, for all we know, it could make less power, but I guess we'll find out. So here we go. Like I said, guys, that is with literally just a JLT cold air intake. As you can see here, a Corsa long tube headers, Corsa sport mufflers, and a Lund Racing Flex Tune. That is it. There's no porting done to the manifold, no throttle body, no fuel assist, like nothing. That, that is about the most simple modifications you can do to a Mustang, and it makes 500 wheel horsepower. That's 20 more than my Corvette, which I spent a hell of a lot more money on doing a, you know, definitely more in-depth build, and you had to open up the motor and put a cam in it and all the supporting mods. I mean, that's, that's just insane um, to think this car makes 460 horsepower from the factory, you know, to advertise, oh yeah, the new Mustang, 460 horsepower. And if you do the math, I believe 500, and if you would factor in a 15% drivetrain loss, that's somewhere around like 570, 575 horsepower to the motor that this car is putting down, which is a lot. If Ford was gonna sell this car tomorrow, like off their, their lot, they would advertise this as a 575 horsepower car, which uh, that's just crazy that it's picked up that much power from what it was stock. That's, that's pretty damn good. Sean was just asked me, he's like, what did it make? I said 500, and what was your reaction? I was surprised. I thought it was going to make like maybe 490. I thought 480. I was, I was lowballing it. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty healthy. Sweet. All right, the E85 R tune is loaded on the car, so let's see if we can pick up a couple more horsepower. Like I said, I've never used this tune. Both of these tunes, both the Flex and the 85 R tune, are literally just the tunes that Lund sent to me via email. I have done no data logging. Uh, Matt just checked it out and said everything looks great on the Flex tune, but like no revisions have been done. No, nothing has been added. This is just like the base file that they will send you as like your first little like, hey, go put this on your car, take some data logs and send it back to me. That is that is what these tunes are. I mean, this is, this is about as simple and basic as it gets. And uh, 
yeah, so let's see if we can pick up a few more horsepower, maybe shoot for like 510 here, I don't know, let's see how much horsepower uh, switching tunes will add. Moment of truth, boys and girls. Let's go find out what it made. It could have pulled, it probably pulled timing or something. Think so? Yeah. And since I was sataloging, I couldn't see where the timing was. Gotcha. All right. Well, that is a, a bit interesting and definitely not the results that I think anybody was expecting. It just made uh, 467 wheel horsepower, 450 torque on the E85R tune. So I don't think I'll be using that tune uh, probably ever. So flex, <laughs> flex fuel tune it is which uh, I really never plan on using this tune anyways, just the convenience of having the flex tune, being able to go between 93 and 85 or anything in between is a, a lot better and easier for me. But uh, yeah, that went down, <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit over 30, 30 horsepower. So now Matt did go ahead and uh, data log that pull for me so I can send that to Lund and have them check it out and ask him, hey, you know, is it pulling timing or what? But um, Matt believes that it is pulling timing on that tune for some reason. So I guess I'll have to get with Lund and kind of figure out what's going on there. But we're going to put it back on the other tune because, uh, yeah, it made a hell of a lot more power. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hit E85R. Nope. We're going to hit Flex Off-Road. Yep. And we're going to put it back on the Flex tune. So that's loading back. It takes six minutes. All right. And uh, that's literally all you do to, to change the tunes. So that's... Uh, Really convenient that you can just sit there and swap between tunes, between 93, 85, or the flex tune. Shout out to Matt Sorian there, putting the fuse box cover on. Matt, I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys need any tuning and you want it done, you know, at a, a physical location close to you and you're in the Houston area, hit up this man right here. He will take care of you. Tell him RP sent you. And uh, yeah, definitely a interesting findings today. So here you have it guys, the final printout. It's on a Mustang dyno here at MS Tuning. It's uh, 76 degrees today, so I mean, the DA is probably not too, too bad. Um, but that is what, shit. That is what the uh, the graph looks like. It looks like it might have spiked a little bit just to get it barely above 500. But I mean, regardless, that looks like it's still gonna be, you know, 495, 500, somewhere in there. Um, but it's calling it right here, 501. Horsepower at 6,700 RPM and then 474 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. So that's really good. I'm I'm so happy to have this car over 500. I've always like you know wanted this. That that was the goal for this car was to make a 500 wheel horsepower car off, off bolt-ons. And uh, according to Matt Sorian's dyno, it has done just that. And as I said, his dyno is is pretty spot on. There's a dyno that's about 15 minutes from my house that I could probably take it to and it would probably show up like as 550. It's a very generous dyno, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be like, look what I did. But uh, this is this is pretty, pretty, uh, damn, I'm at a loss for words. That's that's dope. Also, I guess it needs to relearn the uh, alcohol percentage, but there you have it. It's 84.7. That's what it was, you know, just a couple minutes ago when it was, you know, learned. Uh, but 84.7%, so that's that's as close to E85 as you're going to get. 0 0.3 off, I call that E85. Well, there you have it, you guys. 500 wheel horsepower in a 2018 GT Mustang with uh, Corsa long tubes, Corsa catback, you know, sport mufflers, a JLT cold air intake, and a Lun Racing Flex fuel tune. So before we go any farther in the video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to all of those companies. It's been an absolute pleasure working with all of them. I haven't worked with Lund Racing really like, you know, they don't really know I exist. Um, 
but you know their tune is pretty much spot on i got to figure out what's going on with the e85r tune that could just be some kind of fluke maybe the car was freaking out because it like just got switched to it maybe it needed to learn something i mean who knows what that is but uh the that pool was data logged so i'll send it to them and kind of figure out and go from there but both corsa and jlt i have you know worked with them and they're absolutely great companies to work with i'm actually wearing a jlt t-shirt today and it's actually really really comfortable it's that really soft material so shout out to them on their soft t-shirts but uh corsa you know if you guys are interested in, in buying any type of corsa product whether that's a you know exhaust system from like the ca a cat back system an axle back system uh headers whatever you want um rp is the discount code for corsa stuff so you know save save yourself some money on anything from corsa just type in code rp that, that right there will save you some money and uh jlt you know they're known for being some of the the best intake manufacturers in the whole entire world so i re i would highly recommend them and i guess this video is just validating the fact that you can hit 500 wheel horsepower off just doing you know headers intake and a tune and you it can be done so american muscle did it first i've recreated that i'm sure there's plenty of other videos of people doing the same thing but it can be done so if you want to buy one of these and you want to make 500 wheel and uh I mean, this should be good for probably uh, it's a manual so on a drag pack it might be a mid 11 second car probably high 11s it just kind of depends how it you know hooks and stuff like that but if you buy an auto one of these what the hell was that if you buy a 10 speed automatic 2018 mustang do the exact same mods you're going to be in the very low 11s if not maybe even the high 10s i know stang mode uh, i believe he's got a pretty similar uh little build kind of going that that's similar to mine i think he just ran a 10.994 i think he has like some suspension components and stuff like that but uh pretty much like the same modifications and he ran a high 10 so it can be done so uh, yeah, I highly recommend the 2018 Mustang if you get one that's not, you know, ticking and all the other stuff. But when they work, they work great. So shout out to Ford. That's uh, that's awesome. But here we are at Mob Auto Boutique where uh, Zach's CTSV is in here. We just installed some headers on it last night. And uh, yeah, let's go get a first little reaction from Zach and myself of how the CTSV runs. Uh, I believe they were changing plug wires on it because I had a little bit of an issue yesterday. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. Oh, you're just deep in this thing today. Elbow deep in the V. There you go. What's up, Kyle? What's up, buddy? Hey, Jordan. What's up, man? How are y'all? Hanging out. Just chilling. Looking for a ride shoot. Just living the dream. Yeah, that light works pretty good. <laughs> How was your car dynoing experience? Yeah. It was great, man. You some good power? I'm very happy with I can't it. I believe you made 327 wheel, bro. That's freaking yeah, insane. Yeah, 327 wheel is impressive, dude. Yeah, I, I, I love those Mustangs. They put down some good power. I know, and then, like, the, you know, that 147 torque. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we dropped a ratchet in the engine bay oh no really really yeah, i don't know what her name was but we're trying to find it oh well, it was phase on wrench anyway so who cares <laughs> sorry phase on shout out to phase on <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys saw last video, we were kind of talking about Zach's CTSV and we said it had a slight misfire. So they changed the spark plugs thinking that might fix it, ended up not fixing it. But what we ended up finding was the problem was that it was a bad cat. So Zach was basically like, well, if the cats are bad, screw it. We're putting long tubes on it. Yeah, it forced my hand. So here we are. We got long tubes on it now. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan and Kyle there for helping tremendously last night, putting those things on. They, uh, they had a, a super fun time. Can't put a price on that. Actually, you can't. It's like 500 bucks for last night alone. <laughs> for, yeah, for like install. Yeah, for header install. <laughs> so this is with uh, some Texas Speed long tubes and a stainless works cat back system that basically was already on the car when Zach got it. So if anybody from Corsa is watching this video, hook my boy up with some Corsa cat back exhaust. That's what Zach really wants. But damn, it sounds pretty damn good. No more misfire. Yep, firing on all eight. That's a good sign. Close up here at the shop. I'm gonna take Zach's V out for a quick little spin. I haven't actually ridden in a CTSV. Uh, okay, that's yeah, that's loud. I haven't ridden ridden in this body style or driven this body style CTSV ever. So that's my first time in a V2. So it should be fun. This car uh, should be running a little bit rich because oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, should be running a little bit rich because it hasn't been retuned for the headers. But uh, 
Should be fun. Badger in my cow. Later, man. Bye, buddy. Let me in. I'll follow you on the 99 and I'm gonna go Okay. Oh. I feel like my net worth just went up by like a lot because I'm in a Cadillac now. Yeah, welcome to non-pheasantville. Non-pheasantville? Even though I got this thing for like 27 dollars <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Wow, well, that's a deal. Yeah, it's an 11. So 2011 CTSB, you got it for 27K and it was already slightly modified? Yeah, a little bit, just a little bolt-ons. Uh, shitty tune, clog cat, so maybe that's why I got it so cheap. <laughs> clog cat, yeah, that was the clog cat discount. God dang, man, it was so weird. I was I was driving, I was just trying to get it to, to the dealership where my dad's at so I could get it, you know, freaking diagnosed. Right. And I get on 45 and this, this thing just... <laughs> just put you in limp mode? And I was like, what the heck? It was, it was worse than limp mode. I, I literally couldn't drive. I'd get up to 10 miles an hour and that was it. Oh. Um, so I just pulled over and had a toad. And um, he was like, yeah, if cylinder four is down. And so in my head, I'm thinking, that can't be cat because it's only one cylinder. Cause it's consistently down. I mean, the whole bank messes up. There's only one cylinder down. That's got to be something more serious. I figured, you know a lifter or something uh valve spring anything yeah, I yeah. that valve was shut closed because we had 160 compression but it, it was it was still down um so i figured the cylinder was shut stu shut stuck but we uh we went up there i got up there like eight o'clock in the morning and i was like dude let's take this valve cover off and the tech was like no 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 let's check the cat and sure enough it had back pressure before we even turned the car on and uh finally we got it started up and it was like 15 pounds of back pressure which is no point that's so weird that a cat could shut off one cylinder though. I know, just one consistent yeah. one and, and then mess everything else up to where it would barely run. Huh. But um but yeah, we got it we got it figured out. Well that's good because it could have been something really bad, you know. Yeah. When you when you anytime you hear one cylinder's not firing, you're like, uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. because oh, I was super worried. I was like, let's get this valve cover off, man. Let's Especially because you just though. bought it, you know, you're yeah, like you I didn't know if you bought somebody else's headache or yeah. Yeah. It's already broken. That's <laughs> a race car. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder how much this cost when it was new. I, I, honestly, I don't know. Maybe like 60, I guess. Maybe 55, 60. I was going to guess more. Really? I think so. I, I I don't know. Somebody in the comments will probably correct us. Oh, yeah. Always. But uh, I, I, I don't know how much these went for when they were new. Probably 80, if I were to guess. I know V3s are like 100. Yeah, V3s are 100. So, They're I don't know. Down, though. You're getting tuned by Sorian? Yeah. So literally the shop that I just left is where Zach's gonna be bringing this thing to get it properly tuned on a, on a fresh tune. Cause do you even know who it's tuned by right now? No clue. So we're just hoping that it's okay. Thing. Yeah. Throttle down, <laughs> figure it out. It'll be all right. It's, it's, a, it's a GM product. So obviously Zach ain't giving it the full beans cause you know, it's not really tuned right now. We don't know who it's tuned by. But uh, damn, there's something about, you know, LS motors that just sounds so good no matter what you do to them but uh, I think that's going to be a fun project to keep an eye on so definitely go follow him on Instagram you can keep up with, with what he does should be kern fed very very soon so once again guys I want to give a huge shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video the first link in the description will be the link to my site with them as I said it's dollarshaveclub.com slash rp go get yourself some of their products I mean I seriously can't Highly recommend a personal hygiene company enough. They, they really make good stuff. And I probably sound like a broken record here, but huge shout out to JLT Performance, Corsa Performance, Lund Racing, J-Rod Speed Shop for the install, and then MS Tuning for letting me use his dyno today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more fun stuff that we have coming up on the channel and possibly maybe even a new car. Guess we'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.